Hello world, Curdy Cool, back on the scene again. Okay, all right now, I see that this airline ticket all of a sudden arrived. Okay, now why all of a sudden did this come out when Curdy Cool started asking questions? What time did Britney's friend Pick her up from the apartment. Now, now they come up with this. Okay, check this out. Before I do anything, I want to point out on this ticket. Okay, that I'm looking at. What I'm looking at. Why is it that you can't see the name on that ticket that clear? Why? Why is that? I mean, I can go to a scanner place the original ticket on a scanner and everything would be clear. You can see every little detail. Why is it you cannot see Britney's Boer's name clear on that ticket? You take a good look at this. You can't see her name clear at all. Now, how do we know that this wasn't did over, you know, like scan with, Adobe Apricot or something like that and they went in and, and tried to blur it out and make it look sort of hard so that you can't really read it why is it all of a sudden when I talk about this stuff nobody say anything about what happened what time did Brittany leave the house now you guys want to come out with this kind of stuff why didn't Brit why did Britney's friend did not come out in the very beginning and state what time she picked Britney up from the apartment? I don't care how you look at it, Britney still had time at that house. Now, if her stepsister did lie for her, saying that she was picked up from the airport between 6 30 p.m. and 6 40 p.m. Now, Tina said her stepsister clearly picked Brittany up at 6.30 p.m. Now, everybody heard that. She posted it on my page. She was picked up at the airport at 6.30 p.m. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, this comes, comes out. Now, as I look at this ticket, why is it you cannot see Britney's name not clear at all. You know what I mean? It looks like the name has been blogged out to confuse you. And when I can't really see something that I can't read, that begins to tell me that it looks fake. I mean, I can I can take a screenshot from my telephone of a ticket, anything, and I will see everything in detail just as clear. You know what I mean? So it sort of seems fake. But then again, if the stepsister told a lie, I'm going to show you in another way here now. Still, Brittany had time to be at that house between 9.15 and 9.30. Or even possibly 9.40 because if she just had a carryout bag, just, just, a, just, just a few clothes and a little carryout bag, she did not have to check luggages in and all that kind of stuff. You think about it. She still had time because between now I'm thinking, you know what happened between 915 and 930 is when this happened. OK, if her flight did leave out at 1130, she had more than a time. She had more than enough time. And that means she still was. At the apartment between 9.15 and 9.30 is what time uh, Brittany's friend came to that apartment and picked her up. So she still had time in that house to do whatever she had to do. Now check this out, world. Okay, Darren Vince goes to work. What time? 8 o'clock. Okay, now didn't they say clearly within an hour time he gets a call 
he's throwing up. So he comes to the house, but then what? 8.45 or something to nine, he's there at the house. He comes to the house at that time. So don't you know Brittany was still at that apartment? So it still confirms itself. Ain't nobody fooling nobody here, baby. She still had time to do what she had to do. And I'm still thinking that she whipped that little girl so bad. And she just could have beat her a little bit too hard. And that's when all this stuff came about. And this happened to little Malia. She called Darren. He rushed out. He's throwing up. He come home. Still, that still puts her right there in the middle of the scene. Because now this is what happened during that time when all that stuff happened. Darren comes home. Now, all of a sudden, Brittany's girlfriend pops up between 915 and, and 930. Brittany looks out the, the bedroom window and see a girlfriend pops up to pick her up to take her to the airport. So let's say she get there around about 930 or 945. Well, she still had time to do her look. She still had time to do her little business and get her to the airport. If she didn't have a whole lot of luggage to check in, well, if, even if the plane did leave out at 1130, look at all that, that time difference. She still had time. So wherever this girl is, you, 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 still, you still cannot say, okay, that she did not do this terrible crime because she had more than enough time to do her business and when when that friend of hers came to that apartment to pick her up it had to be between 9 15 9 30 or 9 40 you know what i'm saying the plane did not leave out from my understanding about what 11 20 11 30 look at all that time so she still had time to be at the apartment. And you know what's the dead giveaway here is when Vince went to work at eight o'clock, he gets a call, he throws up, he comes back home within a hour time. Throwing up, he goes into the house. Brittany was at that house in the apartment during that time and that's exactly what could have happened now all this stuff is making sense you think about it when 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 darren vince came home due to the fact that he got a call about um uh, britney about britney you know like telling him that you know malia was no longer with us he throws up all over the place and he comes home. And once he get to the house, poor little Malia is, is laid out and no longer with us. You know what I mean? So really, Brittany still had Brittany. Brittany still had a whole lot of time, you know, to be at that house and do what she had to do. And trust me, she do know exactly what's going on. Now, I want to say this. Why is it that, what's her name, Tina Hartman? Why is it that she stated clearly on my page that Britney's stepsister picked Britney up at 6.30 to 6.45 p.m.? Okay, she clearly stated that. But either way it goes, it doesn't matter if she, if she left the house at 4 o'clock or if her plane schedule was, was scheduled to leave out at 1130 that morning, Brittany Steele was at the house between all the way up until probably, probably until about 930, 945. And this is when Brittany's friend showed up at the house between, I say, 920 to about 940 to pick her up. She didn't have a whole lot of luggages, so she just went straight and checked in, and boom, she was there. 
her flight was scheduled to leave out at 1130. So still, she have time. Either way you look at it, she still had time to be at that house and do what she had to do. Now, it still is between them two. And it's no other way to look at it. Okay? Why didn't... Now, why didn't... Ask yourself this question. Why didn't they call the cops right away when Malia body had left us why didn't they call the cops emergency right away since they want to be the smart guys why didn't you guys call the cops of the emergency or the fire department why now see they cannot answer that question why didn't they they chose to pack her body up in that big black trash bag and she had darren vince to walk out of that house with little Malia inside of that bag. Now, why was that? See? They pretty much just hid everything. They did not want nobody to find out exactly what happened. And looking at this ticket, in a sense, it do look kind of fake to me. Simple reason. If you got a case that you want, want to try to prove, you want everything to show clearly. You look at that, you know, in this girl's page that I saw this, you cannot even make what that name says on that ticket. Now, I can clearly see, you know, the time difference, you know, 430. I can see, you know, the 1130, I think I saw. But for as the name, it looked it looked like the name was kind of blogged out where you couldn't even read it. Why is that? If you if you are, are, are trying to prove something to the world, make this stuff clear where everybody can see it and read it. But looking at this, you, you can't read the names on that. It looks like it, it, it been blogged out with Adobe Apricot. You can't fool the old school to leave out at 1130. She still have more than a time, more than enough time. Darren drops the kids off earlier. He's at work at eight. He gets a call. Soon as he get to work, he comes back. He home at what? 850, nine o'clock. He gets a call. He comes home. Right there in the act. Brittany discussed what happened. So, so they tried to clean up everything. You know, she panicked. They clean up the house. They put this girl body into that bag. And Darren holds her out. It ain't no other way to look at this. So even though what that Tina Hartman said, Brittany's stepsister said she picked her up at 6.30 p.m. It doesn't matter if she picked her up at 6.30, 6.45. And now I'm hearing that this friend of hers, whoever this is, said that her her, her flight was scheduled to leave out at 1130. Still, she was at that house during the morning, say 930, 930, 945. You live in the Greens Point Mall area. You know what I mean? You got a little carry bag with you. So, you know what I mean? You can take care of all that little business in 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. You know what I mean? So still, I don't care how you look at it, that still don't let you off the hook because you were still at that house. And then, and why is it now, I'm talking about this stuff. I'm asking Brittany, what time did your friend pick you up? All this time has gone by. I've been asking, asking this girl, what time did she pick you up? They could not come out and say nothing. So why? Brittany and her friend got together and, and they came up with something. Okay, okay, okay. But well, maybe this might work. You know what I'm saying? You cannot fool a old school and make sure you remember that. You can't fool the old school. I don't care how you try to trick it up, how you try to do it. Now, if, if the stepsister lied and her plane ticket says that she left out at 1130, 
Brittany was still at that house that morning during the time when Darren got back to that house claiming that he was sick. She was at that house. And during that time, she was either there helping him clean up, getting rid of the body or whatever she was doing. That's when her friend showed up between, let's say, 915, 930, 940. She ran out of the house, y'all, in a big hurry because she did not want her friend to what? To walk up to the front door and they open the door and see all this stuff going on. So she runs out of the house and forgot her keys. Now, how do you explain that? How do you explain that, Brittany? So, so you still not out of the woods yet? I mean, you can try to confuse the world if you want to, but... Either way it goes with the airport schedule, you still was at that house between uh, up until 9.15, 9.30, When this girl picked you up, you ran out of the house and forgot your keys. So anyway, this is Curtis Cool. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Please like, sh please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Tell all your friends, come right back to Curdy Cool, because I'm going to get this thing straight once and for all. That airline ticket, do not let Brittany off the hook. I don't care how you guys try to trick it up. You can say that the ticket says this and it says that. Still, she was at that house up until about 9.30 to 9.40. It speaks for itself. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Curdy cool. Okay, bye.